Welcome, Vitame, bienvenue, willkommen, welcome. Thank you for taking the time to join this online event. Usually on Remembrance Day, the Lord Mayor will be processing down St Giles in full ceremony robes and chains, hosting visitors from our twin towns across Europe, shaking hands with service men and women, welcoming veterans and sharing a platform with the Lord Lieutenant, faith leaders, Royal British Legion and others there to remember fallen heroes and celebrate the peace we now all share. But like many others, I'm remote working. This is a Remembrance Day like no other. Though the ceremony is diminished, it is important that we still commemorate and honour those who made the ultimate sacrifice and gave up their future for our peace. Men and women, those who died and those who suffered a living hell, soldiers and civilians, people of all nations, all ages, all genders, all faiths and none. And lasting peace has never been more important than it is now, when the world needs to come together to fight the common threat that is coronavirus, climate change, poverty and the ecological crisis. So those who gave us this lasting peace, we owe them our everlasting gratitude. Thank you and stay safe. Let us confess to God the sins and shortcomings of our world, our pride, our selfishness, our greed, our evil divisions and hatreds. Let us confess our share in what is wrong and our failure to seek and establish that peace which God wills for his children. Almighty God, have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in life eternal. Amen. We welcome our faith leaders to join our service this morning. Lord, we pray to be strong in our actions. It's not enough to pray for peace. We must work for it and challenge those who foster conflict. We should denounce injustice, not only when it's committed against us, but also when it's committed against others. We must defend human rights, not only our own, but also those of others. We need to promote the way of moderation, compromise, and reconciliation. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord smile upon you and give you peace. In the name of God, the infinitely good, the most merciful. Praise be to God, the Lord of the worlds. We remember our service, men and women, who made the ultimate sacrifice so that we may live in peace and freedom. Lord, bless them and grant them peace. Lord, we pray for our serving armed forces and their families and express our gratitude to them for all that they continue to do to defend our country and to hold peace in conflict zones abroad. We pray for all our public services and all those who continue to serve their fellow citizens with integrity, compassion, and kindness during this global pandemic. And peace be upon you all. Dear merciful God, on behalf of Hindus in Oxfordshire, we pay tribute to thousands of valiant soldiers who willingly faced the battlefields and gave up their lives to protect our country. Whilst we salute them, we pray also that we can denounce injustice, tyranny and oppression wherever in the world it may occur. We need to build bridges of reconciliation, understanding and friendship. We are faced now with dangers, fears and threats of a different kind. And our prayer is to support all initiatives in the world to search for a vaccine to alleviate suffering and death. Om Shanti, Shanti. Shanti. 
we remember and pray today for the souls of the brave and dedicated soldiers who went out to the battlefield to defend our country. We admire their courage, their sense of duty, and their belief in fighting for a just cause. We pray also with other faith groups that we can continue to promote justice, peace, and tolerance, and that together we can bring about reconciliation, friendship, and peace. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. pay tribute to all those who have died in war. We honour them all for their bravery and self-sacrifice. Many of these men and women had no expectation of any reward in the afterlife. They were sufficiently inspired by the rights and needs of their fellow human beings. We look forward to a time when international warfare becomes a thing of the past. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. When you go home, tell them of us and say, 
for your tomorrow we give our today. Let us pledge ourselves anew to the service of God and all mankind, that we may help, encourage and comfort others, and support those working for the relief of the needy and for the peace and welfare of the nations. Lord God, we pledge ourselves to serve Thee and all humankind in the cause of peace and justice, for the relief of want and suffering, and for the praise of Thy name. Guide us by Thy Spirit, give us wisdom, give us courage, give us hope, and keep us faithful now and always. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the Queen, the Commonwealth, and all people, unity, peace, and concord, and to us and to all God's servants, life eternal, and the blessing of God Almighty remain with you always. Amen.